Dr. Yuri Magalhães began working with telemedicine services back in March, as the COVID-19 pandemic began to spread in Brazil and demand for these services boomed. After getting past his initial doubts, he came to embrace the tool, and not only for its convenience. I thought it would be something very challenging, very hard, but in practice, I see it's easier than I thought. And actually, if we think critically about our practice, telemedicine has actually brought back something that was being forgotten, that is listening carefully to the patient and getting a detailed history. There are limits to telemedicine, but in appropriate circumstances it can be a win-win scenario, convenient for patients and a good business for the healthcare industry. The services have grown exponentially during the pandemic, building on investments companies were making even before the COVID-19 emergency. São Paulo's Albert Einstein Hospital began its telemedicine program for regular patients about two years ago, building on the hospital's first efforts to use telemedicine, connecting doctors and patients in remote locations like oil rigs. That experience helped them cope with the current surge in demand, driven by COVID-19. We have already our platform installed, and then we jumped from 50 per patients a day to more than uh, a thousand patients a day, seen just because of COVID. Now, more than 50% of our patients does not have COVID and consultate us without, uh, with um, uh, symptoms besides COVID. Symptoms like diarrhea, symptoms like um, muscular pain. At a recent online global summit organized by a Brazilian medical association, doctors, market experts and industry representatives from around the world discuss the future of telemedicine and digital health. One focus of discussion, the regulatory adjustments needed to keep up with an unexpected continued growth in telemedicine in a post-pandemic world. During the Congress, we had many participants saying it was impossible to go back now. It was not possible not to sustain the growth of telemedicine. If this technology helped so much during the pandemic, just imagine what it can do when this emergency is over. It's becoming clear that some of the changes to daily life brought about by the pandemic are likely with us to stay. There are strong signs that a more intensive use of telemedicine is one of them.